Hey folks, Machine Repeat here. More from the 2019 Farm Progress Show. And a real treat today, get to catch up with a very dynamic company from Ontario, Cadman Power. And this is the, the owner of third generation, Craig Cadman. Craig, great to see you again, my friend. Hey, nice to see you, Greg. Yeah, thanks for having me out. And, oh, thanks uh, for coming out. By the way, love the truck. Thank you. Awesome. And now, Cadman Power, uh, was it your grandfather started the company? Yeah, right? my grandfather, Wes Cadman, started the company in 1952. Okay. And uh, we started out as just a local retailer for irrigation and farm equipment. Okay. Uh, in 57, we took on four tractors, and that lasted until 1987. Okay. And my father, uh, Wayne, took over the company in 1969. He was the uh, youngest Ford tractor dealer principal in all North America at the young age of 21 years old. Wow, he was he was the man. He was the man at the time, yeah. 21. 21 years old. But your dad has some stories. He's got a pile of stories. A We're pile gonna of to, stories. I'm going to have to get up to Ontario and fuck you and get some more, get dad on camera with some of those. Absolutely, he'd love it. Now how did Cadman, you guys have an uh, amazing company here with uh, you know, the, the irrigation and the manure application. Uh, tell me the transformation, how that all happened. Well, um, my dad took over the company in 69 and throughout the 70s uh, continued to expand the lines of equipment he was bringing in, tobacco harvesting equipment, expanding the types of irrigation we were selling. Okay. And then in 1982, uh, high interest rates, people weren't really buying tractors, uh, times were getting tough for the farmers, sure. so he decided to get into the manufacturing business. Okay. And he started uh, building irrigation hard hose travelers. Uh, for the local area okay. and that was in the fall of 82 he built three machines okay. and then by 1990 we were the largest manufacturer of hard hose irrigation reels in North America. Within eight years? Within eight years. Wow. Uh, we uh, have expanded since then from not just selling into Canada but also the United States, Mexico. We have a warehouse in Germany. Wow. We have salespeople in Russia, Ukraine, and Kazakhstan, dealerships in New Zealand. So we stretch all over the, the, the world here. And we tend to focus on ag, of course, with our with our world. But uh, you guys, Cadman Power, you again, you've drifted into other businesses. I know the oil industry, things, uh, just listing for opportunities out there. Yeah, so uh, about 10 years ago, we uh, uh, had a call from uh, a certain customer who wanted equipment very similar to what we had for the uh, water transfer industry, specifically for fracking. Sure. And uh, we were able to provide them the equipment that they needed, did some custom builds for them. So hose caddies, soft hose, uh, large diameter soft hose, eight inch through 12 inch. Okay. And then uh, pumps that would go as high as say, six or 7,000 gallons per minute okay. for water transfer. And then that has since uh, grown into uh, uh, projects for dust suppression, and for big flow fires, such as forest fires and dock fires wow. and that type of thing. Cadman Power, you guys are doing it all. Now, at the Farm Progress Show here, Craig, we have so, kind of have some big news. Yes, sir. Uh, you have a product release. Why don't you walk yeah. us over? All right. It's your 5300 CMA? CMA, yes, okay. sir. The Continuous Manure Applicator. Okay, well, let's go take a look. And how has the traffic been at the show here uh, first two days? You know what? Day? The traffic has been phenomenal at Farm Progress. The show just see, never ceases to amaze me. They bring it's, them in, don't they? They bring them in. The uh, And the folks at Farm Progress have been excellent to work sure. with. Um, you know, usually you go to a show and you never see the people who run the show. Since uh, we've been here, we've had at least three or four visits from the show people, making sure that we're taken care of yeah. and that we're able to get the message out to our customers so That's it's a been great really show good. they do things right yeah. so here we go folks I'll take a wider shot now pretty interesting story here Craig this the new 5300 CMA was sort of uh, the genesis of it yeah was from the these brothers right yeah. here from Ohio we have on the right we have Dave and Rick Alleg. And what town again in Ohio, guys? Fort Recovery, Ohio. Fort Recovery, Ohio. Okay. Let's scooch over this way, guys. I want to make sure I get the wind a little bit out of the video. But, so, you guys had a Cadman uh, product. Drag hose reel, yeah. Drag hose reel that you were kind of customizing. Why don't you walk me through the story, how it all happened? Don't jump in it. Don't all jump in at once, guys. <laughs> 
You take your day. We, we came up with the concept of putting all our manure into a growing crop okay. in order to utilize the nutrients better. Okay. And uh, we started out with the first old Dragos thing that we bought. I don't even remember what we bought off you. But we put it together and, and we built our first machine. Did not work real well, but we had the concept down and okay. we've been working on it ever since. And with these guys have been working on it for the last probably seven, eight years maybe. Okay. And we're at the point now where we've got the bugs all worked out of it, the system works well, and it's ready to go. And I understand uh, on your farm guys, uh, Rick, you were seeing some pretty dramatic results. Why don't you touch on that a little bit? Oh yeah, 10% yield boost at least minimum and wow. soybeans. Over commercial fertilizer. Over commercial fertilizer. Okay. Yeah. And just being able to uh, a different stage and a different t level of control of when the application occurs? The, the, the really neat thing is the environmental benefit by putting manure on later on in the summer, the soil's drier, it soaks it up better, it holds it better, the crop is ready to use it, so it doesn't end up in our streams and rivers. Right. And Legs. And uh, during application, I understand that uh, many people see you guys rolling, and they but there's not really much of an odor. They don't. They, they just probably wonder what you're doing out there, huh? Right from the road, you really can't tell what we're doing because it just you're out in the middle of a growing field of corn, and it can be up to. Craig came down and first saw it. What was your take on his first reaction? It's not only the yield gain, it's the savings in fertilizer. Sure. Because when you put the manure on early, you lose too much of the nitrogen. This way you save it all, and that cost savings alone could be $100 an acre. started off with our self-propelled unit which uh, we still offer and uh, it's a great unit that's the 5500 the, the 5500 cma okay. which is 5.5 inch inside diameter by 2800 feet okay so we can do full half mile pulls and then dave and rick and greg came up with the idea of having a more economical unit something a little bit more affordable especially with corn right. being down at the prices that they're in so we came up with the, what we call our silver series okay. and came up with a 5.3 by 1600 foot machine and, uh, and then a simple uh, three point hitch toolbar. Okay. Cost wise, Craig, the 5300 CMA solution or that approach, cost wise, I mean, is it on the order of like half? 
Fanatic? It's about half the price of the uh, the fully loaded self-propelled CMA. Okay. So a lot more economical. Okay. Um, and I mean, basically, you can look at it from the perspective that if you're paying a custom pumper to come in and pump your manure, the amount of money that you're giving your custom pumper could be applied towards a lease payment on a five-year program. Right. And then after five years, it's all said and done. You own your equipment. And the other best good thing about this is that now you have a huge window of opportunity to spread your manure. You know, we really saw some catastrophic stuff this spring with all the rain. And a lot of people struggled to get their manure out. Their pits were overflowing because of all the rain. With the CMA, that's no longer a problem. Mm. You can spread uh, your manure or apply your manure in the uh, standing row crop. Corn as tall as three and a half feet. Okay. And uh, beans, um, basically any standing row crop, you could apply the manure in with this machine. Now guys, when you were working on it over there, so first off, with your operation what was it that made you want to you know start tearing stuff apart and finding a better way what what drove you the environmental problems we were having we are close to Grand Lake St. Mary's okay and it's in uh, western Ohio they have a terrible algae problem and the farmers are constantly being blamed for the problem and mostly because of the manure application, the timing of the manure application. Okay. And if we, could, if we could get the manure in the field when it's needed, then it, it fixes the environmental problem, it saves money, and the whole thing works. And we grow a, a lot of homes, and okay. we just needed a better way to get it out there. Gotcha. Frank, how about, as you kind of just here releasing this now, 5300 CMA, what kind of feedback are you getting from people? Oh, it's been fantastic. We've actually had some customers that have specifically come to Farm Progress this week to uh, actually see the CMA. To eyeball it. To eyeball it, okay. to see it. Now it's a matter of some people want to actually see it run. So sure. we're going to start lining up demos for these folks. So you already can... have a nice YouTube video out? Yep, there's a great YouTube video on the Cadman Power uh, channel okay. on YouTube. And uh, it's also on our website, Which is www.cadmanpower.com. Cadmanpower.com. Check it out, folks. I, I watched the video when we got here. It's, it's very cool. Drone footage. Yeah. And that was on the farm for you guys? Yeah, that was at the okay. Alec Farm in Fort Recovery. Very cool. Well, it, I'm intrigued too, long term, I mean, getting those kind of results, uh, you know, on the cost savings plus the increased yields from a piece of machinery standpoint down the road for use values. And yeah. we've talked, Greg, before about your Cadman products being out there. I know you had a recent example of your one of your reels down in North Carolina selling really well. Yeah, um, so we have a dealership in North Carolina, Rock Equipment. They sell a pile of Cadman reels. Their favorite model is the 3250, which is a three and a quarter by 975 inch irrigation reel. And I mean, it's very common for people to sell those reels and almost recoup what they bought the machine for. This one recent example, uh, about 10 or 12 years ago, the customer bought the machine for 17.5, and then two years ago sold it at auction for 15.5. There you so go, that's... folks. Cadman Power holding its value for you right there. Yes, sir. Awesome. Well, I love your approach to innovation, Craig, your family going back to the early 50s. Uh, definitely need to learn more about your dad, some of those stories with the Ford dealership. That's very cool. Absolutely. And also, just the company's openness to, I mean, work with two bright dudes here who figured out a better way. That's, uh, a lot of companies wouldn't be that open. That's, what is it about Cadman that makes well, you open you to know, this? Well, you know, as a manufacturer, you know, we got a business to run, and sometimes that means I get a lot of office time, which isn't always my favorite thing to do. Sure. But when you're sitting in the office, you don't necessarily come across a problem. Um, Farmers like the Alec brothers, they come across the problems they, and they want to find a solution to it. So it's much better for us to work with folks like these than to just uh, wait for yeah. something to happen. Gotcha. And uh, this is this is the way that we can be a little bit more progressive. Well, it's just good business too. Isn't it's good it? business. Yeah. And, and honestly, they're fantastic people to work with. Well, guys, Salt of the earth. Now how do you, you guys, I'm sure you had the idea and now when you're standing next to this product at the show, it's released, the farmers are leaning in, they're excited about it. That's got to feel pretty cool. Oh, it is. 
That's uh, now that was spoken like classic Midwestern. Understand? That was good. That's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, you guys. Uh, did you ever doubt that it would see through to fruition and be to this point? Are you confident it would get there? Maybe at first, but once we things started to come together, I knew we would get it. Get it out. Okay. And tell me, lastly, tell me about what would you relate to to the farm audience about Cadman Power? Uh, you, you guys have been working with them here, developing this product. What? Do, They've been a great company to work with. They're open to our ideas and we... They listen. They, they listen. Listening is awesome. Well, that's great. Guys, uh, Dave and Rick, thank you for telling us about your, your work here. Very cool. And Craig, thank you again. Uh, Cad, folks, go to Cadman Power. Check out that video. Uh, anything on the manure application, the irrigation side, these guys rock it. And, uh, uh, yeah, keep me up to date on how the um, market is receiving the new product. Should be exciting days ahead, Craig. Absolutely. Thanks for stopping by, Craig. I really appreciate it. You bet. Ram Trucks, premier vehicle of Machinery Pete TV.